Welcome back to Jeff Queen Angie Live. This is the kind of shows that we need to do more of. Forget toxic politics. Let's get some inspiration. Dr. David Washira, his wife Cecilia here. My God, what a story. You guys are just, it's Cinderella's. I hope this ends happily ever after. Huh? I hope so yeah. too. Uh, we pray. <laughs> uh, no, we took it about seriously. Yes. Like for life. Cecilia, how did you all meet? We met in Washington, D.C. about three years ago, actually, coming up next month yeah. and yeah. Uh, we dated we did a little long distance while you were on zim and then he proposed in november of 2019 and i said yes without a doubt did you know what this whole thing was about with the turban thing did you did you have any clue about it i did some research you but did some research okay. <laughs> all um, right it didn't bother me no no i found it uh, i was intrigued actually and uh it drew me closer to him yeah i really enjoyed how different and unique he was and uh it was good. I think we're the people with the problem here. You know that? <laughs> we're the ones. I don't know why. We're the ones who question, what's this Acorino stuff? Yeah, I mean, when we're together, I see that a lot of people stare at us and they'll ask what it is or they'll ask me what it is. Yeah. And now I've learned about it and it's a part of who I am now too yeah. since I married him. Yeah. And but they think I'm a driver. That happens a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do, does it? Yeah. Like where? So In were, DC? Oh, yeah, I went to compete. Oh, I don't want to mention that. You there. just did. <laughs> Go on. And, uh, and uh, so the staff like, yeah, just drop her off over here and you can go park. Oh, I was like, it's my car. It's my <laughs> wife. <laughs> no. like, I'll no. park wherever I want. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you do? I'm a professional photographer in Washington, D.C. I do sports, weddings, and, you know, you can throw in a president here. Oh, here or there. two, or, <laughs> or three, two, or four. three. Yeah. Wow. And what's that like? I mean, Obama? Yes. That was George my W. Favorite. Was it at the end? Yes, at the very end of George yeah, W. George but w. Obama was probably my favorite. Yeah. Loved all of his inaugurations. I even got to dress up and feel like Cinderella for a night. Yeah. And uh, yeah. unfortunately, it was before I met him, or else he would have been my date to every single one of <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah. She, she has all these pictures from the White House correspondent. Right. Dinner, and we have all these pillows. Actually, the first time I found out that she was a professional, well, I knew she was a photographer, <laughs> but the first time I, I realized the extent of it, because you know she, she didn't show, I, I was at her place, and uh, she had a rosary, and she's not Catholic. And I was, beautiful rosary and, and I was it's like just wow hanging there. it's rosary. hanging on a book yeah. I was like this is like an ornate piece I was like Cecilia where did you get this from and she goes oh the Pope gave it to me I was like the Pope as right. in the yeah. Pope so when he was in DC <laughs> they did a personal shoot and he took his rosary and, and, and gave it to Cecilia Pope Francis yeah yes. come on <laughs> yeah. did yeah. you meet Mandela no. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just. Uh, goodness. Wow, the Pope. Yeah, it was a truly remarkable experience. I, you know, thought I, you know, I had to pinch myself. Is that really happening yeah. to me? Yeah. So, yeah. I feel really blessed and fortunate. Wow. We just put some of your pictures on air. It's incredible stuff that you oh, yeah. do. Right? It's really, really nice. Thank and you. And you, obviously, it's a passion. You love this stuff, huh? Absolutely. I started doing it when I was in high school. So that was in early 2000, 2006. And then I photographed my first wedding and I fell in love and I hit the ground running with it. And look at your wedding pictures. Look at you guys now. Look at that. Yeah. Who, who did that? Your team or? Um, his name is James and I met him on Instagram. So the <laughs> hashtags work. I never met him my entire life, but he was amazing. And yeah. it was the most difficult part of our wedding picking what? the photographer is yes. that right yeah, because she had standards correct she has her own standards <laughs> yeah. she can't do it herself obviously yeah. no. and I'm looking at the price it's like this, uh, this is <laughs> getting a little <laughs> that's how I make well, a living yeah. they're beautiful pictures <laughs> they're beautiful you. pictures and you've been to Kenya this is not your first time you've been here many times before oh no he took me to Kenya three months after we started dating actually so yeah. in July of 2018 he brought me to Kenya I photographed for the Kenya Youth Summit and he took me on our first safari I got to see elephants mm. and the cheetah mm. and I've been here probably nine or ten times after that so it's like second home to me you I fell in love with this place I fell in love with David and then I fell in love with Kenya yeah so I'm look, here look at you what does she think of Nyahururu it's cold. You know, oh, yeah. Surprisingly, for Scandinavian. Norway. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's, uh, I always question, are you sure you're from Norway? Right. We, we were in, uh, at, uh, in Nakuru today, a little bit uh, high, right off Nakuru, and, and she, was, she was quite cold. And I was like, you know, my hometown is a little bit more colder than this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. what's the best thing about this man? Tell us. <laughs> wow, you're putting me on the spot oh, here. Oh. The best thing about him, um, I love that he gives back. He's always opening his heart to other people. He's looking to, you know, further children that we don't even know. 
they want we want to give them an education you know we want to give them a job we want to help them any way we can and if he can do that then I'm gonna stick by his side for as long as we both shall live and do that for him and be there to help him oh I'm about to cry that's, that's sweet it's moving. that's really sweet <laughs> but tell me something when David you've been away 24 years you come back you have a European wife do you feel that people think that you are entitled to help them? You know how people are, have this self-entitlement. You made it. Yeah. Why don't you help us? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big problem yeah. because when, when in the outreach work that we try and do, when we ask, you know, who needs help, you know, legitimate, everybody raises their hand, including people who can afford school fees. Uh, and they masquerade themselves as, as people who cannot, and they take advantage of the situation. And so the funds that we have are not able to actually go to where they need it. Yeah. Um, and then there is, you know, this, um, you know, expectation, or I don't know what, mm -hmm. what they want to use that, you know, because you've been outside, you know, you should, you know, you should uh, give back. Um, I mean, not and by give back, of course, yes, but you should give me something, right? It comes a lot, whether it's at the petrol stations or, or whatever. Uh, the same Kuba, you know, you should do the chai. Wapia macho. Yeah, wapia macho. Yeah. Yeah, that's an everyday occurrence yes, now. Yes, yeah. And they feel yeah. they're entitled to it. Yeah. Like they yeah. took you to America, right? Yes, yeah. 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 But that's a story for another day. Yeah. It's not really too much. <laughs> yeah. So, you've been married, what, seven months now? Seven, eight months? Seven months. Seven months? Yeah. Uh, we got married on Loving Day, which is the anniversary of the Supreme Court where they made it legal uh, for interracial couples to get married. Where? In the United States. In the United States, yeah. So How many years then? So this was 53 years ago, June 12th. Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. call it what? Loving Day. Loving Day. Yeah. So when we had to postpone our wedding, because it was originally in April, we came up with a date and we wanted our wedding date to mean more than yeah. just us getting married. So we saw it, okay, Loving Day, Let's. that was the perfect yeah. date for us. 53 years ago, you couldn't get... Yeah, I couldn't, yeah. yeah. So with the Supreme Court attention. ruling that uh, put put out the anti-miscongeniation laws and anti, uh, you know, before in, in, in D.C., you yeah. know, Cecilia and I would not have been a couple. No. Right? So, no. yeah, yeah. So we yeah, tried to make it yeah. uh, a yeah. little bit more about us and give hope to other couples that it's it's possible. And uh, it's it's not a challenge. It hasn't been. Uh, we were asked just a couple of weeks ago for a magazine um, if we faced any challenges being an interracial couple. And we haven't. We just try to make what we have a yeah. blessing for other people. Yeah. There's a learning curve. Yeah. I mean, you to, sure, sure. You know, but last year, happened, yeah. with the Black Lives Matter and the yeah, George Floyd yeah. and all that stuff, yeah. David wants to know how gets a little nervous when he, you know, when he's passing uh, some police on the street. He has to keep both hands on the steering, right? Yeah. Isn't doesn't that bother you? Doesn't that bother you? It did, and we spoke about it at length about it, and I, I voiced my opinion just because I, I am white and I have different, let's just call them white privileges, and you have to be aware of those things. So marrying. David, um, I'm now a part of him and I want to support him and now it's just like when we go to a gas station I understand why he feels the way he does mm -hmm. and you know if he walks out or if I walk out we, we get different treatment and I don't believe that should happen or by any means. In the 21st century? Yeah, yeah. especially. What about your children now? Our children, yeah. yes. I mean they're gonna live, what kind of life would you want for them? Well, we're going to have mixed kids, obviously, and I just want them to grow up loving, you know, everyone. We're, you know, like you said, the 21st century, and no matter if you're white or black, or I joke around with my father-in-law, uh, purple, for that matters. A Smurf. Yeah, yeah. I want just show love and grace and treat them the way that you want to be treated. Yeah. So, David, I mean, y you've experienced the worst of the worst in Texas, yeah. no, no, no yeah. less. Yeah. I mean. It's, are you afraid your your son, your daughter, might be discriminated against? What, 10, 20 years from now? Yeah, I, I, I'm certain that it's a possibility and actually a reality that they'll have to face, especially uh, that there'll be mixed race. So, because yeah. you know, there's some uh, places where you know, this is unacceptable, right? No. Even right. here, right? Where like, no, you're black, you should not, uh, uh, you know, intermingle or, or, or so forth. And um, <clears throat> It's definitely an issue, but one that we are purpose to at least leave yeah. the world uh, a better place, right? We can, um, of course, um, you know, most people would say, why don't you just, you know, take the easy way out, yeah. you know, and uh, why get into a mixed race relationship? Um, I said, you know, 
I, love knows no barriers. I did not wake up one morning and say, you know, I'm going to marry a white lady. Um, or I, you know, I have, uh, before this, my girlfriend was black. Uh, you know, it just didn't work out, not for racial reasons, but simply because we were headed in different directions. Right. Uh, for Cecilia and I, uh, it worked out. Uh, and uh, yeah, our kids will definitely face challenges, mm -hmm. but I think the home environment also speaks volumes. And I think they are, I see the winds of change is what I can say. Yeah. I definitely, 1997 and now 2021, even though we're facing those same challenges in the US, uh, I can definitely see a big difference. Uh, what do your parents think of him? My parents adore him. Absolutely adore him. Um, my dad finally has a son. Aww. They can, you know, he he flips homes now. He's a retired pilot, right. and whenever David comes, we uh, send the boys off, yeah. and they build houses. <laughs> so and my mom and nice. David have a fondness for tea. Yeah. So they bond. Yeah. Yeah. She likes tea bags or she likes the leaves? Uh, um, it, it depends. So yeah. she's a big uh, Katepa Al Grey. Oh, okay. You know, so uh, wow. those only come in tea bags. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Strong too. Uh, strong, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good advertising. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. No. They love David. They love David's family. Yeah. And we've joined two new sisters, Priscilla and Elizabeth. And we're all very close in age. And we try to spend as much time with both sides of the family mm. yeah, as much as we can. And your Mokori Akorino people, what do they think of? Oh, my. my <laughs> My, my, especially my aunt Tabitha, who is watching, absolutely yeah. adores her. In fact, she told me, uh, this, uh, said, I'm glad, uh, I'll say it in English and then uh, Kikuyu and then translate it. Yeah. She goes, uh, which means, you know, I'm glad that you brought us a lady whose name is not difficult, difficult to pronounce. Name, yeah. Shishiria. Yeah. That's what they call it. Yeah. Shishiria, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. You guys, I don't know what to say. Oh, <laughs> this is the future. You guys are the future. Thank you. And Thank the future you. is now. Let's get to some tweets, yes, guys. Yes, definitely. Coming in thick and fast. Dr. Mbos says, or Mobs, says, ask him, Dr. Ari, what he thinks of our economy and increasing debt. Oh, wow. That's a tough question. <laughs> Since you're an expert in finance, real quick. Uh, certainly, yeah. Um, you know, I think you know, the country has taken a more infrastructure-led development type of model, uh, which has its uh, benefits and, and disadvantages. One of them is uh, big uh, debt, uh, but of course we have to take that into consideration. It has to be taken in, in relation to uh, what is it that we're getting in terms of the benefits. Yeah. Um, and when you I, see the infrastructure, because you, you've come a few times, yeah, yeah. right? When you see a super highway, yeah. a Thika, and now there's this expressway yeah. from JKIA yeah. all the way to the Nakuru Superhighway, what do you think? I think it's about time. Uh, it's about time. Uh, I wish it had been done yeah. you know earlier it yeah. shouldn't a few administrations ago but I, i'm glad it's getting done yeah. but uh for sure yeah the debt ceiling should be something that we should definitely take a look at good jw mungai says ask david washida if he can accept an offer to become a future cabinet secretary of finance in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> right now <laughs> right now <laughs> I tell you, Kipleting Manuela says, what a show, what a man. Dr. Washira is a great inspiration to the youthful generation, a role model our youth should emulate. Absolutely. Uh, Simpao Lempana says, Washira is an inspiration of what audacity of hope means. That's Obama's book, yeah, right? Obama's audacity book, yeah. of yeah. hope. Was Michelle there when yeah. you were photographer? When you were taking yes. She well, actually has personal pictures with Michelle Obama and LeBron James. Shut up. When they were doing their Get Fit initiative. Yeah. With Nickelodeon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so right. It is. Yeah. She's famous, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Evans Arwiga says, wow, this is awesome. Family sticking with Mukurino culture and tradition abroad. I guess, yeah, abroad. Just big up to David Rashid on my behalf, please. All right, big up. Thank you, thank you. Uh, P. Kamau says, very inspiring story by Dr. Washira, an American Mokorino. <laughs> uh, Sue57 says, proud of you. Continue shining, man. Any single Mokorino <laughs> in the US, keep me posted. <laughs> oh. These are still tweets, yeah? Sammy Mwangi says, I'm proud of David. We are watching him. He is a great inspiration who beat all the odds. Keep it up. There's a few SMSs coming through, folks. Yeah. A few text messages. 
Bob Kimani says, can he sing in Kikuyu or even <laughs> speak? And do they have a church? Your dad has a church in the, yeah, the my US. Yeah, dad has a but church. But it's not yeah. a Mokorino church. It's not a, a Mokorino church, yeah. What but, is it? Uh, uh, it's actually uh, an all, um, all denominational church, yeah. uh, Pentecostal affiliated, but uh, anyone can come to. They do speak, they do sing some Kikuyu hymns, you know, okay. uh, called the, on the Kegosho, the opening part. Do they? Kikuyu, yeah. They do a yeah. Kegosho? Yeah. yeah. And are there many Kenyans? Are there a few Kenyans who are Mokorinos in the US? Other, um, other than your family With the exception of, of us and the ones that visit? <laughs> yeah. No, no. no. Uh, yeah. I only know of one uh, and then my family. That's yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. We're not in the just the business of converting souls, not converting a Corino. <laughs> right, so. Well said. Well said. It's a good friend of mine called Maina Kageni. I'm sure you've heard of him. Mm -hmm. You know him? Uh, no, no. But Famous he sounds very familiar. Radio yeah. presenter. Yes, 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 yes. You know, yes. He says, the one of the best JKLs ever. Uh -huh. This is coming Thank from you, the Mina. competition. Thank he's you, He's supposed to be asleep right now <laughs> because he's on the radio in the morning. Yes. Wow. Senator Ledam, oh, look at this. He's showing me the meat on your farm. Good oh, Lord. Yeah. Two years ago, they organized a youth summit. You were talking about yes. it, Strathmore? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. And Cecilia was yeah. the main photographer. We're actually looking for a partner university for this time in August. So if we know of any. So the next one is know. in August? Yeah, the next one is in August. We always do it on International Youth Day on August 13th. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Be a fourth one. We did the last one virtually due to COVID, but yeah. And with one. all the COVID stuff and all that, I guess you just adjust, right? Yeah, yeah. we just adjusted. So virtually. we went virtual for yeah. that one, and then this one, hopefully by that particular time, we'll be yeah. able to uh, to meet. This one will be joint physical, joint uh, and, and virtual. Yeah. And how long? How much longer are you guys in Kenya? We're here until March 12th. Okay. If I can get my wife to extend. extend. Yeah. She has, she has I some, have some photo shoots. Some to photo get back shoots. To. Oh, yeah. Of course. And I'm married now. Before I'd be like, adios. <laughs> They have to, to wait <laughs> for to. Mrs. Wachira. Yeah. <laughs> Should my dad said, I, I, what is it I hear about you staying behind and your wife coming back? <laughs> like, no, 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 it's a mistake. We bought the ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're coming back together. Yeah. Fantastic. But we'll be back soon. So. Yeah. I like it here a lot. Yeah. I know you will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you will. Guys, you yeah. guys are an inspiration. You know oh, that. Thank you. Thank, thank you. You, you yeah. know, I don't know if you read enough of our politics, but it just gets so sickening. It does. It does, yeah. But yeah. you guys are a breath of fresh air. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Keep doing what you do. Keep coming back home. Thank you. Thank right? you so much. Asante it's a pleasure, yeah. Asante Pia. Cecilia Oshira, Dr. Oshira. Asante. Asante Sana. Yeah. Appreciate that. Oh, you don't mind if I do that Johnny Walker thing? Yeah, 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 go ahead. You want me to do it for you? No, I'm joking. No? <laughs> <laughs> then you really <laughs> be like kicked Johnny out. Walker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love you it. get kicked out. No. You don't drink tea? I do not. Shame. Jeff Kinanga Live is... <laughs> Uh, now you have a hard but, time doing it. Yeah, I am now. <laughs> you know, sorry. I feel like the only one here. You know? I'm sorry, guys. I, yeah, yeah, no worries. Thank you. Jeff Greenagin Live is powered by Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker exhibiting its eminence in electrifying quality and celebrating 200 years of extended scotch excellence. Thanks so much for being a part of this show, folks. Thanks for your tweets and your messages. Keep tweeting at Koinanga Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya. Hashtag. JK Live. Remember, if it's Wednesday, it's all those three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. J K L. Thanks so much for watching. Good night. Good luck. <laughs> God bless. JK Live, charged by Johnny Walker.